Hello and welcome to Tales from the Shed. And we have Emma here again. We love Emma. We love Emma. Emma <laughs> has uh, brought our video course and she's uh, shared it with the firm. She was talking to us about her business and how she's working with her employees with menopause. Yeah. So that was interesting. But as you can tell, Emma is, she's only just in her <laughs> <laughs> so i can sense. remember that happy time so yeah that happy time and i was just kind of we were kind of quite interested when we were talking to you to think about as somebody in a sense who who under the normal scheme of things you probably aren't thinking about menopause at all yet you know if they say mm. <laughs> all right we'll get to that in a moment but the average mm. age in this country for women to have to get to menopause is 52 so that means they're kind of in peri from about 48 so you've kind of taken the great step, which we always talk about, about planning in that sense. So we're just going to talk about, as somebody who's at the beginning of her 40s and looking forward to this amazing transition, <laughs> uh, what struck you about, what was the most useful thing for you about okay. actually? So the five and a half you're going to be shocked by this. Okay, I'm actually in perimenopause. And actually realise that through doing your training course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so that, that was an exciting, uh, or, or was it? Was it like a... No, oh. I, think, I think it was one of those things that I had my suspicions. It's really difficult for me because everyone says, oh, look at, you know, you go to the doctor and they're, well, look at your, your mum. When did your mum go through the menopause? Well, my mum had to have an emergency hysterectomy in her early 40s. So... Right. You, you never know you know there's there's no history there that's meaningful if you like um so for me it was a literally I have no idea whether this is or this is something else because I do have other medical things going on so it could easily have been those um and then yeah so then I've had blood tests and things and yes it's kind of been confirmed that that it's correct um so yeah it was quite enlightening for me and then I was started scribbling down things you know it was uh, Right. what supplement can I get for that and um right I really need to do some yoga and things like that it's, so. it's quite interesting that you I've, I've heard this a lot in clinic that people say um I have got no idea because my mum had an emergency mm. hysterectomy and I don't want to go into your mum's medical background because that's not fair but just talking generally a lot of women have had emergency or hysterectomy is very young because mm. they have incredibly heavy bleeding or fibroids or cysts yes. and or some hormonal imbalance mm. so the hormonal imbalance has gone on through their life which yeah. is when it gets towards menopause it just goes crazy and chaotic yeah. causes huge fibroids causes solid bleeding you know some people can be bleeding i've seen people having to change super plus tampons and pads every 20 minutes and you know on and on and on then low bloods and so this is something so I always think that history of oh well my mum had a hysterectomy because they don't just give them out with free sweets which they used to in the 50s no. you no. go, you're 40 you don't need that bit let's take it away <laughs> but you know it, it's it's often to do with it's an interesting side that, mm. you know, that yeah there is this history of a chaotic hormone in the female which means that it's very likely yeah that this yeah. Will... yeah how what are your symptoms like can can i ask you are you okay with that sort of what, yeah what, yeah it's what, fine. Was early, what, what was your early experience that sort of made well, you add that to... I, I suppose it was hot flushes i started to have quite a lot of hot flushes which started to make me think and sweat it's not very pleasant is it you know no, ch no, yeah. changing my clothes quite regularly and stuff like yeah. that you know yeah. and mm -hmm. And it's not nice when you're in a job where you're seeing clients constantly because you constantly wonder about whether you're okay. <laughs> you know? yeah. Um, yeah. So in the course, because I mean, we always kind of think information is the power and where the idea is we were hoping to give a whole range of different kind of options. Were there any options that appealed to you that you kind of thought, oh, I hadn't thought about trying that. You mentioned yoga. I thought that was quite interesting. That might not deal with your hot flashes, but you know. It might. No, no. <laughs> I think that was more to do with um other things. <laughs> yeah. 
essentially I, I used to do yoga and I really enjoyed it and when you mentioned obviously the possibility that that could help with various things I thought actually I know that's something that I really enjoy so it's something I'm quite keen to go back to obviously there's a lovely lady who's part of Devon Women in Business who does offer yoga so once the kids are back in school and everything's okay I think that's certainly something that actually myself and a couple of members of my team are looking at going to do because oh, that's you know they've said similar things we're like well we could all go together Monday evenings that works quite well you know so um we've looked at, at that as something to do we it did get mentioned about us um just bringing up an online version of it and going and doing some outside on the decking at the back of the office perfect before we start perfect. Work in the morning <laughs> that would be that's a, it, it, it is really good because it is a whole body and it does balance the organs as well so yeah. if you got that sort of movement in the organs so it, it can have a lot of physical relief as well for the mm. for the, the sweat did it make you feel um actually I'm not going nuts I'm, I'm yes now <laughs> and I I can slot that that mum into it as well that that sounds good <laughs> and, I, and I think the little bit I'm a bit less tolerant at the moment and that certainly made sense after watching the course as well <laughs> Don't make that a negative thing. That's, no, the that's a good thing. thing. That's a good we thing. We like that. When Lady <laughs> Forgiveness leaves the building, absolutely, that's the time. That's the time. And, and I explained that to my husband as I was watching the course because I was watching the course kind of of an evening in bed and he'd come in and, oh, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> and then he'd listen to it and he'd go, that's you, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it helped him by kind of sitting alongside me and listening a little bit to get that deeper understanding for himself as well. And I think he's probably a bit more tolerant of me now. I, I think it's true. I mean, we we when we filmed it, we had three guys that were there filming, yeah. and we were sort of on a on occasion we were sort of apologising to them, saying, I'm sorry we're talking about this. Yeah. And they said it's fascinating, and that's what inspired us to do the one for men because they. Yeah. I, th I think as women we don't we're we're sort of a bit more familiar with the bodies and changes whereas men mm -hmm. um I think perhaps younger men are you know younger people more, yeah but they don't have a they don't have a monthly journey with their hormones the same no, way as no, we do no, so you know no no I think it's um they call it the men on pause I think was what <laughs> I got told <laughs> I like that. I like that, yeah. so anything else anything else that struck you that thought oh I could give that a go or like yoga I remember something that I really liked I'm going to go back to that yeah so obviously I watched all of all of your videos and everything and the belly dancing I thought that was pretty yeah. cool but <laughs> Yeah, I haven't given it a go yet, I must admit, but I did look at it and think, yeah, definitely. It's something that I'd be interested in um, in giving a go and trying, and if it can have the health benefits, definitely. There was some supplements that I ordered off the back of your recommendations. So, yeah, and actually, what was the one? Oh, gosh. There was there was one anyway, I've got it, uh, it's next to my bed, and I've been taking it, and it's actually been really helpful. Um, yeah. So, and, and that was one that kind of came off the back of, of watching yeah. the course so, so your body does need a yeah. bit of help through this it's it's not that you're broken yeah. right? but it's kind of like when you've got i don't know colds or viruses vitamin c the body eats vitamin c to make itself better and it it eats these things up that it really needs those supplements to work so yeah that's, that's really good because i i think a little bit of sort of understanding and self-help mm. but it certainly sounds like it's been um been a positive experience for us. yeah do you yeah. know it's, it's been fine I went to the GP and and she changed um my contraception to one with no estrogen in it and oh. things like that because obviously everything was incorrect I was you yeah. know part of the reason that I was probably a bit off balance was because I was putting medication in my body that actually wasn't helping me so worked yeah. for you for 20 years suddenly yeah. sort of doesn't because yeah. your body's changing so you need to change so I think that's that's really helpful being very self-aware is really good well yeah. done you well that's great and so what a fantastic thing because we talk we do talk to obviously younger women about this because our thing is planning is good and information is good before it happens we kind of say yeah. it, it, it's likened to if your house is on fire you're not going to ring up the fire brigade and say could you come and check my smoke alarm you just <laughs> yes. say, come and put it out now but if you get to that point where you might have checked your smoke alarm beforehand, so it's planning is good. So um, and we and that's how I entered the course was thinking I was doing a plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
and you kind of a bit closer to the end than you thought but yeah that's good <laughs> nice in a way because you know it hasn't been a huge thing you know and and actually some of your recommendations have really helped and I've been able to do them in the moment they you know they weren't didn't end up being a plan for a future but rather right I'm getting I'm getting on the internet and ordering that now <laughs> I just have Part of the plan is if you're not through it in four or five years, you know that you, you know, there might be other things because you should, there should be, like we spoke before about pregnancy, it doesn't go on. If someone's pregnant for two years, it's a problem. Yeah. So it's kind of like we know there's an end date. If you get towards that end, um, we know it should be done. Yeah. So by 45, you'll be joining us old which is the wisdom yeah brilliant <laughs> yeah. looking forward to not changing my clothes multiple times <laughs> excellent all right emma so that's brilliant so, so thanks for thanks for being here with you and thanks for being that uh brilliant example of um thinking ahead uh, thinking exactly okay oh, okay then all right no problem nice to see